Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Rachel of Ladies Gallery and welcome back to my gallery of all things lovely. In today's video, we're going to be opening up three of the Miniverse Make It Mini Food Diner Series, Series 1. We have three of these to open with you today. Oh, we haven't opened any mini brands in a while, so I thought it would be interesting to check these out. I've seen them all over Instagram and YouTube and everybody opening up these different ones and making them their own. So I thought we'd take a look today and see which ones we get. So let's take a look at the packaging first. We have the title here, which is the Miniverse Make It Mini Food. There's some really great images here on the side, different ingredients that will be included. There is a delicious looking mint chocolate chip shake here in the front. And it says, looks so real. It's one set in each bowl and it's in this really cute pink bowl here. There are 18 recipes, shakes, desserts, and more. So this looks like it's gonna be a lot of fun. I hope you guys grabbed a snack, grabbed something to drink, because we're going to make it mini today. So let's open up the first one and see what we get. All right, you guys, I'm so excited for this. I've seen people making pies and shakes and all sorts of delicious things all over the place. And I can't wait to get on into this to see which one we're gonna get. If you guys have gotten these yourself and you've made your own set let me know down in the comments which ones you got and what you made all right so there's two layers of wrapping so we're supposed to open this up here without breaking a nail Hope you guys are all doing well. It's been a little while since I posted. I miss you guys. Hope you're all doing well. Everybody's doing good. Let me know down in the comments how you're all doing. We got another layer here. This is everything you get. This looks like it's going to be a little table to display. Whichever mini food we get. Looks like we have a little plastic tweezers. Some other little plastic bits. whole bunch of little minis that we will get into. Oh, we got a spoon here. Keep cool. Happy Sun Farms. Read me first. Okay, so here is the checklist. All the different ones that you can get in the diner series one so there's a strawberry shake strawberry waffles mint chip shake french toast chocolate shake chocolate chip pancakes strawberry parfait cherry pie s'mores parfait key lime pie banana pudding mixed berry tart Strawberry toast, lemon tart, banana toast, strawberry cheesecake, avocado toast, and blueberry cheesecake. So out of all of these, which ones do you think we're going to get and create today? Let me know down in the comments. So on this side, it shows you the picture of the actual item along with the ingredients. And then on the other side of the checklist are the instructions. 
and what to do to create your own mini food. All right, so we're gonna put this to the side. We will revisit this once we open it up and find out which one we have. We do you have this that says read me first? So this is instructions, how to play with resin, make it, set it, after you're done, and all the tips and tricks for playing with resin and creating your own mini food. Fantastic, okay, so what's this? Sunny side up. All right, you guys, I think the only way we're going to figure out which one we got is to open up these bits and see what's inside. So let's start out with, keep it cool, let's see what's in here. All right, so it looks like we have some spread. This looks like a peanut butter spread or a hazelnut spread of some sort. So put that to the side. Let's see what else we got in here. This one says, thank you, have a sunny day. We have a plate, so I'm thinking we're going to be making some waffles, let's see, or a pie, let's see what's in here. Oh, nope, we're going to be making some French toast. So we got sun-baked sweets fresh out of the oven. We got a couple of pieces of toast here. So we got some toast, we got some spread. Let's see what's in the Happy Sun Farms. Oh, we're gonna be making avocado toast, you guys. So this is avocado spread. We're going to be making some avocados. How cute are those little mini avocados? Adorable. I guess this will be our fork or spoon. Pretty big package. Oh, it's a knife, okay. Pretty big package for a knife. Put this up here. Take out our tweezers. I have no idea what this little bit is supposed to be. If you guys know what this is for, let me know in the comments. And here we have our tweezer. Okay, so the avocado toast, it looks pretty simple to put together. All we have to do is put the toast on the plate, take out our spread and put that on the toast and then place our avocados and then set it. So let's see how we do. Right, you guys, we got our little table. We have our plate. Take out our toast. My apologies if you guys do hear the lawnmower going in the background. My neighbor has some lawn work going on. So we're going to place our toast here on the plate. Some pretty big toast. For that plate. So here we go, we're going to open up our avocado spread. All right guys, so this is a butter spread, not an avocado spread, which is interesting for avocado toast. I've only ever used avocado spread when making my avocado toast, but to each his own. So we're going to put some butter on our little toast pieces here. They give us a whole lot of butter for two pieces of bread. So what we're gonna do is hold on to that resin in case we need it later on with a couple of the other pieces. I 
think they could have give us, given us some green resin and that would have looked a lot better with avocado toast. How do you guys eat your avocado toast? Do you like avocado toast? Do you put butter on there? Do you put avocado spread on there? Let me know how you prefer to eat your avocado toast in the comments. So we're just gonna go ahead, spread out that butter so we have enough space for our avocados. So far, so good. So we're just gonna use the tweezer they gave us, even though it is not the best tweezer in the world. And then just place that. I think four slices of avocado per toast is good. And there we go guys, we are done already with our avocado toast. I think that looks pretty good. Definitely very appetizing, and now I'm in the mood for some avocado toast. We're gonna set this to the side and open up ball number two, let this set up, and hopefully by the time we're done, this will be all set. So let's put this to the side and get to ball number two. All right, here we go, guys. Ball number two, hopefully we can find something a little bit more exciting than avocado toast this time. Maybe a pie or a shake. My favorite flavor of ice cream milkshake is strawberry. Let me know in the comments what your favorite flavor is. Right, there are three wrappings, so where is the tear shirt for this part here? I like how it's clear on the top so you can see everything inside, but you still don't know which one you got. I think that's pretty interesting. Here we go, let's put that out. And we're gonna put our table together first. That to the side. Ooh, we have a different color mat this time. So this time it is blue. And since we saw all of our little packets already, we're gonna put that to the side, open these up and see what we get. Have a nice day. Thank you very much. Okay, we got our plate. Have another tweezer and plastic thingy. Still not sure what that's for. Keep cool. Let's see what's in here. Uh oh, you guys, we have another spread. Oh, but this looks like it's a different spread. This is what our butter spread look like. So this looks like it is a chocolate spread. Are we making another toast? Let's see. 
Yes, we are. We are making another toast, you guys. Let's find out which toast we're making. What's in here? Ooh, we're making a strawberry and chocolate toast. Let me show you guys on the checklist which one this is. So we are going to be making the strawberry toast, you guys, with the chocolate sauce. And the instructions are the same as the avocado toast. We put the toast on the plate, put on some spread, and add some strawberries. Very, very simple and straight to the point. And we're going to take out our knife here. All right, you guys, let's take out our toast first. Get that set up on the plate. We got our big pieces of toast here. Let me know in the comments, would you prefer a strawberry toast or an avocado toast? Okay guys, and here we are. Take a look at that chocolate sauce. Okay. So we're just gonna spread some chocolate sauce all over the toast. We wanna put enough on there to hold the strawberries. Definitely making more of a mess on this one than we did with the other one. Okay, I think that's enough for that piece. We're going to put some strawberries on our toast. How cute are these? They're so realistic looking. They look just like cut strawberries. Tweezers are definitely not the best, you guys. But we're gonna make it work. Oop, we lost one. All right, you guys, I think we'll stick with five slices of strawberry per toast. 
I think that looks really, really cute. We made a little mess on our plate, but that's okay. Sometimes when you're making delicious things, you make a little mess. So here we are. We completed our strawberry toast. So we're going to let this set for about 5-10 minutes off to the side with our avocado toast. And we're going to go ahead and open up ball number three. All right, you guys. Here we are. The last one for the video. Ball number three. Hopefully we find something else besides toast. And this one, I would love to make a milkshake. So let's see which one we're going to get. That was a good tear strip. And the last one. Empty it out. Let's see what we got, you guys. Let's put our table together. Just like that. I like that each ball comes with a little table. I think that's cute. Let's see, do we have a mat this time? Ooh, we don't have a mat this time, you guys. We have this little M. Looks like a placemat instead of a regular mat. So we'll put that on the table. Let's open up our Keep Cool. See what this is. Ooh, I think we got a shake, you guys. I think we got a shake. We see some banana cream. Okay, let's open it up and let's see the rest of it. See which one we did get. We did get something different. That's very exciting. Ooh, what's this? Crumble. We got a very happy crumble. And have a sunny day. Well, we got some whipped cream. Okay. So that's going to go on top of the shake. Very cute. Let's see what's in here. Happy Sun Farms. And we got some banana slices from the Happy Sun Farms. Those banana slices look really cute. Very realistic. The color could be a little bit better, but I think they're really cute. Open up this pack here. See what's in here. Okay, so we got our shake glass, you guys. We're going to be making a shake. Fantastic. So we're going to put our shake jar right up here. Did we get a spoon this time? Yes, we did. We got a spoon. Well, so you know what, you guys? We didn't get a shake. We got the strawberry parfait. But we didn't get any strawberries. We just got bananas. Well, let's see what this crumble looks like. Okay. So here we have our crumble. We're going to be putting that in there as well. So I'm going to zoom you guys on in, and we're going to go ahead and make our own. All right, you guys, here we are. We've got our glass set up. We're not going to worry about the pouring spout. This one's already pouring out on its own. Okay, so I think that's about halfway. We're going to go ahead and add some crumble. Oh. Whoops, that was a little bit too much crumble. Putting these together is definitely harder than it looks, you guys. I'm just going to go ahead and clean up our mess a little bit here. I'm going to place some bananas in here. 
Now we don't want to use all of them because I do want to put a few at the top. But we're just going to create a layer here of bananas. I think that's good. I like how the crumble is sinking into the resin a little bit. I think that makes it look a little bit more realistic. You guys can see that. All right, since we only have two strawberries in here, we're going to add these to the top of the parfait with um, the whipped cream and the other bananas. So we're just going to keep those to the side for now. We're going to let this set for a few minutes, you guys, and then we're going to add the rest of our parfait, our whipped cream, some more crumble, and we'll be good to go. All right, you guys, we're back, and it looks like we're all set, so what we're going to do is we're going to add the rest of our resin here. Want to make sure that we just cover those bananas Ooh. and give it enough. Got some air bubbles in there. All right, I just want to leave a little bit just in case we decide to add some more things on the top. We're going to go ahead and add some crumble. That's good. That looks pretty good, you guys. We're going to add our whipped cream. I'm going to make sure that we have enough space for our whipped cream. Oh, we're thinking. We're thinking. That's okay. Make sure it's even on all sides. I think that's looking pretty good so far. And then let's see if we can put a strawberry. Strawberries here. bananas here on this side. Can we fit two? Let's see. <laughs> Does not want to go into the parfait. Come on. There we go. Ooh. Our whipped cream is sinking, you guys. Everything is sinking. All right, we're going to stick with one banana slice on that side. Make sure that it's touching the resin so that way when it sets up, down. And I think that's good, you guys. We can't really see the crumble that we added underneath. But I think that looks pretty good. 
All right, you guys, and here are the three Miniverse Diner series that we got today all set up and all completed. Let me know in the comments which one is your favorite. I think all three came out really, really cool. I really love this series. Um, I look forward to getting some more. I hope that we can see some waffles and some pies next time that we do open these but I think they are so super cool, so super realistic. And make sure you guys let me know which one of these is your favorite, which one is your favorite to eat, and which one that we made today was your favorite. But that's all I have for you today, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you're into all things girly and lovely. I do bag unboxings, shop with me videos, haul videos, mystery box unboxings, and pretty much everything girly and lovely. So if any of that sounds interesting to you, please consider subscribing. I'd love to have you part of the gallery. Also, I'm really trying to get to 1,000 subscribers, so if you wouldn't mind hitting that subscribe button, I'd really appreciate it. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!